I'm going to do a very short video today showing off a plasma repeater port for Halo 3. Also, just going to let you know this won't be a 100% faithful adaptation of the plasma repeater because the stats were really weak. And I'm also going to throw this weapon into my larger Halo 3 sandbox overhaul mod. This means I'll probably be tweaking the weapon a lot until I get closer to releasing the other mod. One thing to point out with the weapon is that I don't have animations on some of the parts, but I might get around to fixing that once I learn how to do it. Alright, let's get into the mod. First thing you'll notice is that for the most part it's using the plasma rifle as a base, which was a pretty obvious choice instead of making everything from scratch. You'll also notice that I have a static plasma repeater reticle. What I did to make this was that I used the plasma rifle's like default reticle and just overlaid a shotgun reticle on it and sized it down. Another thing to note is that because I'm using Preble's Halo 3 Infinite HUD, the heat buildup gauge below the reticle lines up perfectly and it looks very nice. Alright, let's talk fire and behaviors. The weapon fires at the same rate as it did in Halo Reach. But since I don't have a manual venting system for heat, I just bumped up the rate at which heat is lost. This kind of gives the weapon a bit of a learning curve, because now instead of holding down the trigger and letting your fire rate get slower and slower, you can now time that fire rate increase to get a nice 2 max buildup kill. The rest of the weapon stats are similar to Reach's, but tweaked a bit to fit my sandbox overhaul mod. Now in my sandbox overhaul mod, the plasma rifle has its CE stun effect values, so the base version of my plasma repeater will have half of those values. The other two variants of the plasma repeater that I made won't have these stun values on their projectiles. Let's get into the two variants now. Now, instead of just making this function like the brute plasma rifle, I opted to actually make this function like the Havoc Rifle from Apex. While the Brute Plasma Repeater is still able to shoot while charging, you won't get your max damage potential until your fire rate is fully maxed. It still does the normal brute weaponry stats of overheating fast and burning through ammo pretty quick. Alright, last is the Pulse Plasma Repeater. This variant is heavily inspired by the Pulse Carbine in Halo Infinite. This actually ends up making it a 5 shot to kill long range weapon. I think that's going to be all for the showcase of the Plasma Repeater. I'm going to leave you now with some gameplay against AI using the weapon. See ya.